ba da da bum bum. Ba da bum ba da da bum bum. Huh? Is that Armin van Buren? It is not Armin van Buren. It is Hybert van Horchen. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. I've, I've never heard an Armin, Armin van Buren song. You've never heard an Armin not van Buren song? Not a single one. Well, I thought I heard one that I like. I really liked. I was like, holy shit, this is an incredible song. Because I was watching the commercial for his master class. You know master class? Yeah, a lot of yeah. people do that, huh? Yeah, he had one. And then like it played a song. It was like, and here we go, and it's the drop, and blah, blah, blah. it played this like crazy fucking incredible drop, and I looked it up. It turns out it's some other guy's song. It was like Bangarang Life Girl. It was, <laughs> <laughs> it was it was Reptile. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Hello and welcome to episode number three of Pretty Bad three, Podcast three. 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 Woo! Three. My name is Hoobsy Doobs, and this is my friend Huncho Jack. Hi. <laughs> it's not Huncho Jack. That's actually Travis Scott. But um. Welcome to episode number three. We are chilling. Uh, we just got off of a really bad tangent from the last episode. No, we didn't. Yeah, yeah we did not. not um, yeah, never mind. Henry doesn't want to remember that. I am all kinds of fucked up right now. I'm like, this is just a mess. You're a little more comfortable. A little bit. Um, I feel like your ass is going to fall off. Though. No, I'm fine. Okay. Um, didn't Armin Van Buren make it's a beautiful, beautiful life? No, that's Gunther. I don't think so. I'm a, I'm a, that's that I'm, song by Gunther. It's a crazy summer that's, love. That's not what I'm talking about. Is that what you're talking about? No. It's Bananas, a... melonas, oh. You know that song? It's a beautiful life. It's no. a no-no, okay. no, but I like it. What the fuck? You know that song? Oh, wait. Isn't isn't the Gunther guy that like really, really weird guy? Yeah, he has an album called uh, Dirty Man Swedish Sex Beast. What the fuck? Yeah. What the hell? What's that, bro? He has a song where it's like yeah, no, a, it is Armin van Buren. Switch. I'm not Justin Bieber, bitch. Oh, bum, right. Bum, <laughs> bum, bum. And there's a guy getting pegged. Yeah. No, so, it's it's. Bro, copyright. You've heard this song. Never heard this song. You've never heard this song. It's a beautiful, I'm beautiful. You, I've legit night. never heard an Arvin, Arvin van Buren. That's song. interesting, man. Armin van Buren. Song. That's very interesting. Well, whenever you hang out with me, Nas, I don't you hear like a trance. lot. Of... You don't like trance? No. I used to love trance. It's like gay techno. It's not gay techno. It's, it's... Y- Euro trash. It's not Euro trash. Name me a trash. good trance producer besides Armin, Arvin Vember. Tiesto? Armin Vember. That's not trance. Listen to me right fucking now, okay? That's not trance. Listen to me right fucking now. I'm about to get very heated right okay. now. I was a okay. huge, huge fan of Tiesto. Listen, you can just shut the fuck up because you just said was. So all your trance, I love trance bullshit. You can just shove it right into your ass because you said I was a huge fan of trance. I said I was a huge fan of Tiesto. No, before that you said I was a huge fan of trance. Did in I? Like middle school, you said. I said in middle school I was a huge fan of Tiesto. Go on. That shit's recorded, so I don't know. Go on. Whatever. Go on. Any, anyway. Wait, wait. Pause. You're going to play that back right here. So whatever the fuck I said, I hope I was right. But um, okay, so. Um, I was a big fan of Tiesto, and, like, I fucking loved him. It was great. Trance was awesome. Which song? Um, which song? Adagio, Adagio for, for Strings, strings is a beautiful go. There song. You go. There and you go. all of Kaleidoscope is a beautiful album, which most of that is electronic music. I will say most of Kaleidoscope is electronic music. You know what song I've been looking for that I can't find? It's the Tiesto song where it's a Japanese janitor dancing. I, uh, I, I'm gonna cut you off right there. <laughs> it's a music video. The whole music video is this Japanese janitor, and he's like doing the robot. That's random as fuck. I, oh, it's I will be there. That's actually a very good song. You've never seen the music video? No, it's legit a Japanese janitor dancing. I'll check that out. But check um, um, so I was a big fan, and like trance was awesome. And then whenever the whole trance thing died out, because people like Henry yeah. are like, "Oh, trance is gay, the Euro trash." <laughs> what happened to Tiesto? Tell me what happened. He sold out, got people to make music for him instead of producing it actually himself. Now he just makes generic pop music based or featuring other big name artists. That's what so, happened. So so to to mellow that down to three words, club life tag. Yeah, so club life happened. Vegas. This is gay fucking. Yeah, fuck club life. That was the problem. As soon as Tiesto announced Club Life, and then he became like, you know, those DJs that you always make Tiesto's fun of? Tiesto's Club Life. Yeah, exactly. Oh, where the like, heart The hand, heart, where the, they just hold out the, the heart. The finger guns. Oh, my throwing God. Throwing pies. Oh, my God. That's all they yeah. fucking do. And then, yeah. What are you showing me? I'm showing you the news. Here you go. 
turn that shit down a little bit, man. We're gonna get copyright as fuck. You just played an Armin Van Buren. Yeah, but for three seconds. That's weird. That's very random. I actually really used to like. I used to listen to this song a lot when I really? was um in sixth grade. When did we meet? Eighth? No, ninth grade. Ninth grade, huh? High school. Wow, ninth grade high school. I don't remember how or why, but yeah. I feel like what had happened was um one day you kind of just showed up. No, well, I hear you saying I with Dan a lot. Really? Yeah. Seriously? Like every day. Wow. Not outside of school, but during school, like we would hang out like all the time. Yeah, no, cause like the school that like we went to, um, we we went to Burbank High School. Who gives a fuck? No, don't say yeah. that. Don't say that. Beep. No, we went. Okay. Whatever. So um, every 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 part of like the school was like it had its own name designated for the type of people that hung out there. Exactly. So so weirdly enough, remember we used to hang out in Retard Hall. Did we? We hung out in Retard Hall because at the very end, on the right side, there was like this like weird like indented fucking cube, like mm-hmm. office like type thing. It was really weird, but like we'd all hang out in there. Is that where the band was? Um, because I used to hang out with the band, but that's where everyone who did ecstasy hung out. Yeah, no, the band hall. We used was... to go into the band room that wasn't being used, because Ben knew how to open the door. Right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. We would I've go been in, in there. there and I do like light shows and stuff. I was just about to say yeah. I used to go in there exactly. and give light shows. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's how I. No. That's how I met the chick I dated. In, oh wow! In ninth grade, the nice ass. Now she has a kid. Shout out! Wow. And I won't say names. Yeah, no, of course not. No, um, <laughs> <laughs> that was in between because like you because you guys went in there through the faggot alley. You guys didn't go from retard hall. You guys went through faggot alley. I don't know which one faggot alley is. I, you, when you faggot go down is before the. Gym section, it's on the side of that building. Where Armoville was? Remember where Armoville was? Where Armoville was? You go straight down, down from Armoville towards Alley. the gym. Yeah, yeah, that, exactly. yeah, 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 yeah. That's Faggot Alley. Yeah. <laughs> He's hanging out there a little bit too. Yeah, and then um, I remember um, what the fuck was her name? What was that nasty chick's name? There are so many nasty Started chicks. D. In our grade, Dina. Dude, stop. Why are we <laughs> saying fucking names? I can pull out the yearbook. You haven't even seen the senior year yearbook. I haven't. Oh my god, I'll pull it out in a little bit. But she was um nasty. That's bad. She but told um me she'd give me 50 blo- 50 bucks and a blowjob if I broke up with my girlfriend. She wanted to suck. She wanted to date me. And she was like rich. Wow. And Be- one day I took her off. I'm like, "Yeah, okay." You know that Zara, he and broke she... up with a girl for a peanut butter jelly sandwich. <laughs> it was like the same scenario as you, like a girl just like wanted to date him rather than like have him date that girl. Right. And then her friends offered him a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and he took it. And then like he like just ended up just like he, he didn't go through with the plan. He didn't break up with the girl and get with the other girl. He just broke up with the girl <laughs> for, for, for a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> or no, I don't even think it was peanut butter and jelly. I think it was just peanut butter. Wow. Yeah. But, um. Yeah, you so know, you know what I'm kind of sad about though. What that nasty chick? What about her? Saw her recently. Is she bomb now? Yeah, that's the worst. Yeah, that's the worst. Yeah, but um, yeah. So Henry randomly showed up one day and like Henry was the like Henry was such a delinquent, bro. Okay, you well just... I had a class with um Emin. Okay. Emin was in my class. English. English. It was me, Emin, Hike, Arthur, and Cream Cheese. Okay, and. That, that was the worst. It was the worst. You guys tortured that poor man. Bro, Hike would sit front row. Like she would sit in front of. Is it okay to say. Is it okay to say his name? Oh, well, there it is. I mean, you can bleep it. Yeah, sure, whatever. There's a lot of bleeps in this so far. Yeah, yeah, so far there's a lot of fucking bleeps in this. We've just been talking about people that, like, we shouldn't be talking about. But I, I don't know. I do want to talk about and, him a little and bit. Also, Arlen was our TA. Who? Arlen. Oh, was that the like crazy, crazy guy. motherfucker? The insane oh, yeah. guy. Backstory on Arlen. This guy drove away, like actually drove away with a chick stomping on his hood. Oh, yeah. I'll tell the story. Yeah, it's pretty... I was... We were at Wildwood. Okay. It's like 9 o'clock. It's dark. Let's try to... If we're going to mention any more names, yeah. let's try to like... Covertly... Like... Mention them. Let's call everyone Dave. How about that? Okay, so... I was at Wildwood with Dave, and we were just in the car, and Dave had a lot of weed. Okay. Dave was grinding up a bunch of weed. He had a piece. He had joint papers, capsules, a tray full of weed in his lap, ground up. 
maybe like three grams of weed ground up in his lap. Okay. And then we're looking, and then to our right, there's another car. It's a Lexus, and there's a chick screaming at the Lexus. She's screaming at it, and she's screaming, let me see your phone. That's the worst. And like, and eventually she ends up getting onto the hood. And she's on the hood. She's sitting on the hood, screaming, let me see your phone, let me see your phone. And then she gets up and starts stomping on the hood. But, like, we're talking, like, his hood is, like, dented as fuck yeah. now, huh? No, like, she, he's, she's legit stomp, like, jumping up and down and stomping so on his hood, screaming, let me see your phone. Unlock your phone. That's so bad. And then this happened. This was going on for maybe 10 minutes. Eventually, he just drove away. With her on top? With of her on the hood. She and, just, like, he she just drove fall? away. She stayed on for a little bit. Once he exited the parking lot, she fell off. Wow. And then ran back. Wow. Got in her car and chased after him. But like he's in a car and he's uh, in that's a car wild. Left, yeah. So you're just going straight downhill. And then I'm like to Dave, I'm like, we should leave. He's like, why? I'm like, a guy just drove away with a chick on his hood. We should leave. Yeah. The cops are definitely coming. You have all this shit. Especially at Wildwood. Yeah. I'm like, he's like, the cops aren't coming. I'm like, why? He's like, why would the cops come? I'm like, all right, man, I guess you know. Like, I just figured, like, okay, I guess you know. Not three minutes later, four, two SUVs, two, sit, like, regular car, they pull into the parking lot. Of course they do. <laughs> come straight to us. Yeah. Straight to yeah. us. Flash their lights was right it, on like, our car. Was it, late at night? Yeah. What time was it? I thought, I think it was, like, nine. It was around okay, nine yeah, to eleven. Like... I don't know. Somewhere, it was, it was dark out. There yeah. was no one there but us, that car, and another car. Yeah. And flash their light straight at us. I'm like, you f- piece of shit. And then the guy walks up to our car with his flashlight. Uh, Dave's window's open. <laughs> and um, he, like, flashes the light at us. He's looking at us. Looks, like, all around the car. Looks at the dashboard. Comes back, looks at us. He's like, did you guys see anything here tonight? And we're like, immediately, like, yeah, there was a guy, it was a Lexus, <laughs> white Lexus sedan, oh, wow. uh, chick jumping on, blah, blah, blah. His name was Dave. His name was Dave. Drove that way. Well, uh, he's like, all right, thanks. And then he just walked away. He was going to let us stay, too. But he, then his partner's like, no, 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 tell him. And then he's yeah, like, no, oh, yeah, you, you guys, guys have to leave. Yeah, you guys can't stay there at yeah. night. Wow, that's funny. That uh, reminds me of the time where, um, so, in the beginning of this channel, if you guys are veterans, no one here is a fucking veteran. <laughs> Uh, whenever we uploaded the Shovel Knight, like the gameplay, um, we Is talked about this. One? Yeah, uh, we we said this story, but those videos are gone because we really didn't want the audio. Like the audio was so ass. Is that the one where your sister got mad? Uh, no, my sister got mad about the about the Switch vlog. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. Um, right. <laughs> <laughs> but um, whenever we went to buy the game, it was me, Alex, and Emin. Yeah. Okay. And oh, like, I remember. This. Yeah. Oh. Oh, really? You do remember yeah, you this? Told me this? Yeah. Um, I'll make it short. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. We like went to the Empire Center to buy like the game, and like we thought, GameStop. Yeah, and like yeah. we thought that the GameStop would be closed. Like we were late as fuck. We we're like, fuck it. Like either way, let's just go. It was go. nighttime. Yeah, it was like nighttime. It was a little bit past nine, and we got lucky because it was the day that Resident Evil Seven came out. Oh, so they were extended. So like, yeah, exactly. Hours, yeah. Yeah. So um, we go, and then Alex's car literally just fucking like stops was this his civic or yeah it, it was his audi he had an audi, audi at the yeah, time remember, yeah. yeah um it just died nothing it just, it, that it was just, it right it, yeah. it just stopped you got the yeah. civic after like right after no he no? no his his dad did a fucking like engine rebuild on his, yeah it was so <laughs> stupid i don't know it, like alex was so pissed off he was like bro like this thing's a fucking zombie car now like yeah. i don't even know but um alex's car fucking stops so you guys are in then, the parking lot it's just fucking done. um yeah i Okay, so we're like, all right, let's fucking push this car into a parking spot and like just get the game that we need to get because like we're here, might as well. And like, wait, 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 you guys were still driving when it like turned off. We were looking for parking. We were we were, we were right in front of the GameStop, and then so the car it just stopped. like stalled and just it just it just yeah, Great. it just stopped. Yeah, like Great. his car. To be honest, I didn't even feel it, and like we stopped moving, and like Alex was like, wait, what? And then Emmons like, what the fuck? And Bro, like, shout out to Japanese cars. It just, I don't even know. That German car died, who knows why. My Japanese Hyundai, I didn't change the oil. You've for never 17, changed 17,000 miles. You still it's haven't ran- changed the oil. I changed it. No, you didn't. I you put it. more oil in it. No, 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 I didn't. I took it to my uncle's shop. He changed it. 
he told me he's like it was dust. He's like maybe come back sooner. Yeah. Yeah. That's really bad. Yeah. Anyway, he told everyone at his shop. He's like, this is his first oil change. They all laughed in my face. That's fucked up. <laughs> That's very fucked up. Anyways, his car just died. Just dies. So 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 we we push it, and if by any chance Emin's listening. I mean, yeah, I know you mostly pushed it. I know I, I didn't really help. I kind of just guided you guys, whatever. Emin pushed it. Emin, I want you to fuck me. <laughs> oh. yes. And then um, he pushed it all the way to the parking spot. We go to buy the game while Alex is figuring out what he's doing. For some reason, we went through AAA with Minas. Because, like, Minas <laughs> is, like, a AAA, yeah, no. like... Yeah, I don't even know. Um, So, we're waiting for AAA to show up. And then... um. We're just, like, standing there, vaping, cigarettes, whatever the fuck, just hanging out. And then we hear, get out of my fucking car right now. Get the fuck out. I don't give a shit. I'll fuck you up. My son's an ex-sheriff, blah, blah, blah. We're like, what the hell? We, like, look over, and, like, the man in the car is, like, making a lot of eye contact with us. And then, like, we're, like, making eye contact with him. And like, what kind of eye contact? Like, he's just, like, looking at us, like, please help me, you know? <laughs> and then, um, Minas is like, hey, like... Something wrong? Emin's like... Oh, so Minas came. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Minas was there. And then um, Emin's like, bro, Minas, like, please don't. And, like, Minas approaches the guy. He's like, you want a cigarette? You know? The guy's like, oh, please. You know? And then it's some guy and, like, his wife. And then she's like, oh, you think, like, you're so, like, great now because you got all these men over here that are most likely going to take your side and all oh, yeah. this, blah, blah, blah. I don't even give a fuck she anymore. Yeah, no, she, she was going insane. And I'm just like, hello, like, <laughs> you know, uh, what seems to be the problem here? You know, like, I'm a fucking cop yeah, or something. Exactly. And then, um, uh, let me see your license. Yeah, imagine. And then she was just like, oh, no, it, like, doesn't even matter. You, like, you, it doesn't even matter what I say. This man is insane. He's, like, trying to take all my stuff. He's trying to ditch me over here. Wow. All this crap has Wait, been going on was she driving or was he driving it was his car and he was telling her oh, okay. to get the fuck out of his and car she was in the passenger and, seat. yeah and yeah. she was saying well give me my bag and yeah. like i guess he was saying no so like we were telling the guy we're like just give her her fucking bag yeah, yeah. you know and he's like no she doesn't you no know, she can't have her bag and we're like what there's the fuck? probably a lot of gold in that bag what was in the bag huh. we, we like eventually we we're like you can't fucking like take her bag we were like give her her bag back and he was like okay fine and like he gave it to her and then he was like oh no and she was like oh well you know like what's helping me through all this and she took out like a fucking bottle of vodka (laughs) and she was like i don't even want this you guys can have it and i was like oh well we're not 21 and like we weren't at the time we were like oh sorry we're not 21 she was like haha very funny i'm like no like we're not 21 and then she was like well whatever i'll keep this to myself and uh, it'll help me like sleep at night or whatever and she was like well i'm a lesbian because of you too and then like right right one out of t- one to ten, she was a she was nasty. I'll give her like a four. Old, yeah. Uh, you, you, I think you'd probably fuck her. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, she said some crazy shit. She was like, "I'm a lesbian because of him now." Like really crazy yeah. shit. And then she was like, "You guys don't even know the power of a woman. Pussy power. You guys will do anything for pussy. I can I can change any oh man God. just 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 with my pussy." And then like, any man. yeah, and like we told her we were like, look, like we can get you an Uber, like just get the fuck out, like I don't, like like we don't know what she was just on. like ch- sticking around, just hanging out. Yeah, yeah. She did was he just... leave? Did the dude leave? No, he was there too. He was having a cigarette right. and like just talking to us, telling us like, don't, don't ever get married, Gary. <laughs> so, like he was just like telling us some bullshit, and like Milos is just trying to like instigate it, or sorry, not instigate it. He's trying to like stop Think, it from right, happening, right, right. whatever. And then eventually, like. Yeah, I, I don't know. She was like, my son's an ex-sheriff. I can go get a gun right now and I can blow oh, your wow. fucking brains out wow. to like the man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then the man's like, what did I ever do to you? You know, <laughs> like you're a crazy fucking bitch. I I'm didn't pretty sure shit. she was an alcoholic. Yeah, no, she definitely was. She yeah. said she was. Yeah. And then um, she's like, I I can go through three of these a day. I was like there a fucking go. giant bottle of vodka. Automatically take the guy's side. Yeah, exactly. And then like, um, she she told him She was like, oh, like, and you wish you could, like, beat the shit out of me, can't you? Like, you fucking wish you could. You know that I'll come back and I'll shoot you in the fucking head and blow your brains out. And he's like, I'm not going to fucking beat you. He's like, what the (laughs) fuck are you talking about? It was, uh, it was crazy. And then Minas was like, guys, shut up. Fucking leave. And then, and then, and then Minas ended up making the guy leave. Wow. And then, yeah, the guy was just like, all right, like, am I, am I good to go? Minas was like, yeah, fucking get out of here, you know? And then the Why guy Why is left. this guy automatic? Like, Minas is like a referee. He's like, all right, can I leave now? Yeah, 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 you can they leave. They probably thought we were cops, honestly. Oh yeah, no, and then, um, 
we like looked at the woman. We're like, what the fuck are you going to do? She's like, I'm going to get picked up. We're like, okay, you're going to get picked up. She's like, yeah. We're like, okay, then leave. And then she left. Should have totally given her a ride. I th- I think we offered her you milked because that. we 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 offered her an Uber and she said no. no and then, you should have been like, I'll give you a ride. Yeah, well, I don't know about that. I want to see the power of your pussy. Oh my god! And then afterwards, the tow truck came. The the like truck came right on time. Yeah. As soon as they left, the fucking truck came. We're like, okay, like lates. And it was actually really fun because we sat in Alex's car. On, really? On the tow truck. How did the guy let you do that? He just he just let us do it. I don't know. Wow. Yeah, I wish I mean still had the videos. But um was we were fun? it was very fun. Oh, it, wow. We like couldn't see shit though. Yeah. And like it was very fun. You're, like, and looking up though, right? Yeah, exactly. We were at like an angle. And then um we asked the guy, we're like, can we like smoke in it? He's like, No. We're like, why? It's my friend's car. He's like, whatever, go ahead. And this like, guy's just this guy's quitting tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. Like, dude, I don't give a fuck. Ride on top of my tow truck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then like we like cracked open the windows and everything too. It was really fun. Wow. Yeah. That was our night. And then before we knew it, we were at Alex's house. Wow. Yeah. Good times. Anyway, so how did we start hanging out? Uh, you just showed up, man. And, like, Henry was a bad, bad I boy. I showed up. I remember either Dan or Emin was like, come kick it here. I'm like, cool. And then I showed up at that table in front of the dance place, in front of the gym. Okay. And then, like, I remember... The first that like I sat down and Gary was sitting next to me. Oh, I love Gary. And he said in our and he said it on Armenian because I guess he didn't think I was Armenian. He's like, "Who's this faggot?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you had like the emo haircut, yeah, which yeah. wasn't a haircut. Exactly. It was a wig, wasn't exactly. it? Exactly. You're yeah. crazy. Why? I don't know. Man. You gotta funny. do sometimes. Wait, so so like, when did you go bald? When were you like f- like fully bald? Uh, as a kid. Okay, but like, how old were you? Like. Like three, wow! And then it came back in, uh, when I was like five. And wow! When again, like by like, that's interesting. It hit grade. you that early. Oh yeah! Wow, that's very interesting. Well, I was diagnosed with diabetes when I was two. Really? Yeah. Oh, can I tell them what you told me over the phone yesterday? I don't remember what about I told before you. you were born. Oh go for it. <laughs> okay, yeah, you're like, oh, fuck. Henry was supposed to be a Downs baby. Henry, uh, the fucking, I guess the doctors told Henry's mom that he was going to have Down syndrome. Yeah. No, it wasn't a doctor. It was some nurse. It was some crazy nurse. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, yeah. I thought it was and like a doctor. And my mom was like, what do you, what? Like, it was a nurse who, like, looked at her chart. And she was like, oh, these figures don't add up correctly to what a normal, like, yeah, your baby has Down syndrome. And she was like, what the fuck? And then they, like, went through with the actual yeah, yeah, tests yeah, yeah. and, like, turns out yeah. You, yeah. you're not down. But I was going to be aborted. Oh, yeah, you were. Yeah. That's crazy. Going through shit since before I was born. Yeah, straight up. Um, <clears throat> I have a weird story about, oh, man, I wish my mom was here. I want to oh, have my man. mom on a podcast just to tell this story, <laughs> but she's not here, so it's okay. I'll tell it on her behalf. Um, so whenever my parents came to America, they, like, chilled out for, like, a little bit and, like, got situated before, like, they decided that they, that, that they wanted to have another kid. Yeah. And then um, that was me. And then um, my mom was like maybe like four months, five months pregnant with me. And then someone knocked on our door on like a rainy day. And like it was really weird. It was like not like late at night, but it was like seven o'clock, maybe like seven or eight o'clock. So like who the fuck could this possibly be? My dad goes and opens the door and it was some like woman. And like she was just like I'm getting like a very like powerful vibe from like this house. Is there like a woman in, in this house? I have a somewhat similar. Story yeah, to yeah. That. My dad's like, what the fuck are you talking about? And like my mom shows up, and like this woman's like, oh my gosh, like you have like a, such a amazing like aura coming off of you. Like, is your child a boy or a girl? You know, my mom's like, who the fuck? Like, <laughs> yeah, you know, my mom's like, it's a boy. You know, and then like it was She's like raining. Like, it was like raining outside. So my dad's like, why don't you like come in? You know, like I I guess like the like the vibes were there. You know, and she's like, oh, thank you. Can I also have food and money? <laughs> no, no, no. Like, like my mom, like gave her like tea and stuff, obviously. Yeah. And then like, she just kept on saying, she was like, wow, like your child is going to like, like be something like I get like such a powerful vibe. Like your child is like a very pure soul. Mm-hmm. I can't wait until he's born. And then they like never saw her again. She ended up killing herself. Probably. What if I'm her? What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, really, really weird Wish story. Like Orochimaru, she <laughs> stole, your, she stole your body. <laughs> That's a very interesting reference. Shout out to you. 
Shout out to Naruto, bro. Yeah, that was a very interesting reference. Um, <laughs> One time, it was like three in the morning, and I hear a knock at our door, and um, my dad opens it. My dad used to sleep downstairs. Okay. Because he snored a lot. Right. And he would keep my mom up. That's so why my like, dad just, sleeps here. Yeah. <laughs> so, and someone knocked and he like, op- he looked through and it was some chick, like a young chick. Maybe like 22, 23. And he opens his door and she was Armenian. And then she's like, I was at the park with me, my friend and these guys. And they tried raping us. So like I ran and she got to our house and, and my dad let her in. I'm like looking like How old down. Were you? What? How old were you? Like, eighteen. Oh, okay. Wow. So this was like kind was of like recently. Yeah. Ago. Okay. I'm like looking down. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like, I was about to call the cops, but I'm like, why would I? I yeah, I no, was, your I was dad. half just asleep. Like, yeah, just let your dad do it. And then like, like she was like there. He was like talking to her in Russian, and then, oh. and then like her, she and he she ended up calling using my dad's phone. To call her like brother or her dad or someone to come pick them pick her up, and then like she left after after like half an hour, right? And then the next day, like we told my mom, and my mom's like, "Are you guys fucking crazy?" My dad's like, "What are you talking about?" It's like, "Are you fucking out of your mind?" Like, why would you let a random chick into your house at 3 in the morning? What do you mean? This is a random chick. Yeah, maybe she's, like, scoping out your house to rob it. Maybe, like, three guys with guns just come in. She ended up calling the cops. Your mom? Yeah. Oh, no. She told the cops what happened. The cops are like, are you guys fucking crazy? Oh, no. The cops said exactly what my mom was. She's like, are you guys fucking crazy? Why would you? (laughs) Like, they said exactly what my mom said. Like, you're very lucky you didn't get robbed. Wow. My mom ended up calling the number that she called with my dad's phone. She was like, I know what you guys are doing. I called the cops. I know what's going on. Don't try to come here. Jesus Christ. And the guy was like, okay, okay, whatever, whatever, <laughs> okay, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like some Armenian guy. He was like, bunch of, bunch of, he was like, yeah. this, it's all good. It's all good. Whatever, whatever. <laughs> That's really funny. My mom was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> so how long was she inside your house? Like half an hour. And and when my mom was like, "What if they like rob him?" He's like, "No, I was like looking at like our doors and stuff." She's like, "What are you, James Bond?" He's like, "They're gonna come in with guns." You're gonna fucking like. <laughs> That's so funny. Wait, but like, hold on. And it didn't make any sense because I live above the park and it's uphill. Yeah. She's yeah. like, they tried to rape me, so she ran uphill, uphill yeah. into a cul-de-sac. All the way at the end of a cul-de-sac to the one house where we're Armenian and she's Armenian. What the fuck? It was the weirdest thing ever. Yeah, no, the the like no, like running from the park to your house is like yeah. not gonna happen. It's it's it takes a lot of effort. Yeah, no, it's not gonna Someone's happen. Someone's chasing you, they wanna rape you. You're not running uphill. You're running yeah. downhill. Yeah, no. You're not even running. You're going to the first house. Straight up. And you're screaming and knocking out. She didn't scream, she just knocked on our door. She was like, Hi, um uh, Yeah, literally. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Wait, so so your mom was like knocked out? Yeah, my mom like, was asleep. Upstairs, yeah. And then I heard the knock because I was up. Right. And then I, like, after she left, I went down I'm like, what the fuck was that? Because I couldn't understand what they were saying. They were talking in Russian. Right. He's like, yeah, she like some, the guy, she, he told me the story. I'm like, what? I'm like, why didn't you call the cops? He's like, ah. Yeah, fuck the cops. Eventually, like, some black Audi came with a dude in it like two dudes in it and picked her up and left I think I don't remember what the fuck it was really weird that's very weird I just remember the cops when my mom called the police department they're like what the fuck they're like why would you ever do that my god so uh my mom because my dad was like what do you want me to do she was like just look through the hole like the 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 what's it called like the eye thing I don't don't fucking know know what they call it it. yeah and then Say, like, okay, stay there. I'm calling the cops for you. Because she didn't have a phone either. Oh, wait, so your mom ended up coming down. No, 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 no. My mom said that's what he, sh- that's what my dad oh, should have oh, done. Oh, okay, okay, I see. Because my dad was like, what did you want me to do? Yeah. And she's like, call the cops. At least when she comes inside, call the cops. Yeah. I, feel like I, I think, I think like... my dad asked, like, do you want me to call the cops? She's like, no, 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 no it's okay. I'm just going to call my brother or something. I feel like your dad just, like, wanted a friend. 
And I'm like, <laughs> like, 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 she was just there, and your dad was like, "Oh, this is interesting. Like, like, this is fun. This is an interesting turn of events." Or maybe you're like, your dad thought he was like lucid dreaming or something. <laughs> it's so funny. Um. So on on like my street, that like I I've, I've lived in the same house my whole life. Yeah. Yeah. So um. Not to say like there were like gang members or anything because like no one's like it wasn't really like that but like we did have like delinquent like people on like our streets and um like up the street there is like this like hispanic latino family whatever that like there's at least like five families living in that one house type yeah. of thing and like obviously their kids like you know whatever like you want, like whenever you have that many people in like one house you know it's more than likely that like one kid's gonna make bad decisions and then that's right. gonna lead on to like all the rest of the kids who all live together so like there was kind of like that like group and then across from me like this apartment one of the one of the families an armenian family one of their sons was like total like fuck up but like he was like he was like stupid fuck up you know like he would like he's he's been in and out of jail like non-stop over like stupid shit over like possession of like hard drugs or right. like he goes to, like a bar and like he's fucked up on like some bullshit and, like he gets into a fight with some asshole and like next thing you know he's in jail and then um he loves my dad okay <laughs> like he has so much respect for my dad but every time like my dad sees him my dad shits on him like he's like you're a fucking 27 year old man and like oh you're God. a fucking mess you're in and out of jail please do not talk thinks, to me or my children. He thinks your dad is like that in like the karate movies. Exactly. He's that grandmaster no. who just shits on the guy until he's good. He thinks he thinks your dad is his grandmaster. Bro, and like it's so sad because like his family would like not let him inside the house, you know? And it's like it's like New Year's Day and like we're going to like my cousin's house and like he's, he's outside, outside in the alley. He's just outside yeah. in the alley and like I'm walking in and out of my house like taking food down yeah. to like take to my uncle's house and then he's like stopping my dad and telling him i have so much respect for you you're so much of like a wise man my dad's literally like shut the fuck up and stop talking to me i'm not even kidding and like he was in love with my oldest sister oh my god yeah and then um i still remember there was a night where so i used to be in this room imagine my room this room that we're in right now i used to share this room with my with with both of my sisters oh wow yeah so um (laughs) <laughs> it was like my sister's like 19th birthday party or something yeah and like somehow the stars aligned and like my parents went to like my uncle's house oh my god yeah and like and, I, and like i somehow was like able to like stay i have oh no idea god. like how this like even happened but like i was at this party were you like 11 yeah yeah, yeah. like 10 10 yeah. 11 and like I remember how excited I was because the Wii had just came out and I was like oh, one of the good. first people to have a Wii. I was like, oh my God, all these fucking... The Wii came uh, out that long ago? We were in fifth grade. What the fuck? Yeah. Um, it was 2006. And dude, I was just like, this is going to be so hype. All these like older people, like I got a Wii, oh like God. this is, this is going to be fucking awesome. Got and Kool-Aid. Then, we got yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, and he obviously figured out that there was a party happening, right? Yeah. So like he climbed up oh that God. thing. Yeah, he climbed up that thing and like, it was just like his like chin and like his oh his like his like chin up from like where that is right right from like where because uh I have a fire escape in my room and like right across the fire escape is the other apartment and it's and separated. You live, on, you live like it's like second story kind of. Yeah, pretty much. It's like it's like higher up. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So, um, before we weren't even separated by that wood thing, we made that wooden like barrier because oh, wow. of him. Yeah. Because of him. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Because of him. So this doesn't go all the way across. It does. Okay. It does. It goes all the way across. But it was because of us and like the neighbors right. also complained and stuff. So yeah, we built this when I was like eight years old. Okay. And then um, he was over there and he's like, "What's going on here? Who's who's having a party? What's happening? Why wasn't I invited?" And like I'm just like, "Oh my fucking god! Like what's going on?" <laughs> and then like. You're like it's it's a we release party. Don't yeah, worry exactly. About it. And like all the guys knew who he was because yeah. like my cousins were yeah, here yeah, and yeah. stuff too, you know. And then they were just like, "Bro, like, fuck off, man! <laughs> like, like you fucking know how you are. You know what kind of person you are." He's like, "What do you mean, bro? Like, come on! Like, I have a kind heart. I love her. This, this, that, oh you know." God. And like my sister's boyfriend at the time was oh here God. too, <laughs> bro. It was so bad. He and starts then... throwing used heroin needles in. No, no, no. It got to the point where like it, like it wasn't even a fight. They all just like, like imagine a bunch of guys like in my fire escape just standing there like trying to like tell this yeah, guy yeah. like bro like there's no way yeah Yeah. like it's not gonna happen you know (laughs) they're not even like they're not even trying to like pick a fight or anything and this guy's like man like you're totally right you know and then he ended up seeing my dad again and he was like yo like can you adopt me (laughs) no 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 he was just like hey like 
I've told you many times, like, I uh, respect you. And, like, because of that, like, I'm never going to speak to, like, your daughter or, like, your family ever again. My dad's like, thank you. (laughs) My dad's like, thank you so much. Like, I hope I never see you again. (laughs) Like, have a good day. (laughs) Well, shout out to that guy. Yeah. And with that, we will conclude episode three. A bunch of stories, man. That's all this podcast was, just a bunch of stories. All right. Have a good day, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Everyone go fuck yourself. Yeah. Thank you.